Good morning. This is our new morning setup. We don't have the saucer with us, so we got the playpen. Just got a little view. Eyeballing this for texture. Start with two tablespoons. Got some cinnamon. All right, so these are how the pancakes turned out. I'm just going to slice them into strips and add a side of avocado. This is the herbal coffee I'm having today. It's from Ticino, it's their hazelnut one. Added a little stevia, some collagen I brought from home and some oatly oat milk. Not bad. Ooh, that milk is good. Blueberry pancakes and avocado, Sage's favorite. Yeah. Okay, I look much different, I'm sure. I just finished getting myself ready. I did some work, I meditated while Sage was having her nap, she's awake. We just shot a couple of photos, or Matt did, of me and Sage for my one year breastfeeding update video and blog post. Um, so we're still doing work here on the go, so I'm trying to show like more of that stuff. Um, but Matt is just gonna give Sage a little snack. I figured I'm just gonna do banana in this little like snack grab cup. I haven't done this before, but I figure it'll be just easier for her to feed herself and not shove everything into her mouth at once. And then we're gonna go for a walk. It's really nice out today. I think it's gonna be 23 degrees Celsius. And, and then I'm trying to think, like I have, a, I have work to do throughout the day, but I'm just going to, oh. <laughs> Someone's fussy. While Sage has her snack, I'm gonna go shoot some Insta stories for a camp campaign that's due today. So I gotta shoot that and then we'll go for our walk. I'm actually getting hungry too. I might make a smoothie before we go. Okay, so just put a little banana in there. Okay, Matt, I put some banana in her cup. She's one years old now, so she needs all her snacks. And we're still trying to recover from daylight savings, so we're pushing her meal times a bit. So I know she's gonna get hangry, but I just fed her milk. So I'm hoping this ties her over for our walk because nobody wants an angry, a hangry one-year-old. Also, side note, I'm obsessed with this new top. I feel so trendy. One shoulder, it's like great for breastfeeding, really great. Um, but I like it because I don't have to wear a bra with it. I'm hoping the nips aren't showing too much, but whatever. Hashtag free the nip. And yeah, I love it. It's from Aritzia. It's kind of pricey. It wasn't the cheapest, but their quality of the certain brands that they sell are really good. So I know it's gonna like last me a while. And I honestly like love, love the fit. So anyways, I know I might get questions about it cause it's super cute and it comes in, I think it comes in black. I'm not sure, but there's one with like two straps too. And it's like ribbed. Anyways, I'm gonna go shoot my other uh, Insta stories Well. Matt Russell Sage, I don't know what's happening there. And then we're gonna go out for some sunshine. I don't think I've mentioned, but this vlog is just gonna kind of be our first week in Florida. I don't really know what I'm filming, like a little bit of a what I eat in a day, what Sage eats in a day, a little bit of what we're doing, um, just little clips from each day. Oh my gosh, you look so mm. cute. Ah. Do you you want banana? Ah. She sees the ah. treats. Want banana? Is that banana in there? Yeah, put banana in there. She knows it's like the cup, the happy cup. I might just roll up her sleeves, but got Teddy too. It's a guy. Yeah, I don't know if it would work like that. I don't know because they're kind of smushy. I feel like it's better for the cracker stuff. Uh, let's see. Mmm. 
Stephen, I find it a bit tricky to get out because it's yeah. slippery. She's okay. got little hands, though. I know, but... Let's we'll see how she does. No, I can always take it out. If that's hard, we can just sit her in there and then I can put it on. But... Look at CG eating on the counter. Is that good? Yes! Yes. Okay. Yes. I am also having a little snack. One of these perfect bars. Salted caramel. So freaking good. Tell me your mom without telling your mom. There's like teddy bear on here, half eaten banana. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Really yummy. It's about four. The walk. It's a little windy, but it's so warm. I can't believe this is November here. So Sage just went down for her second nap and I just wanted to show you guys like the real behind the scenes. Once Sage goes for her nap, it's like work time for mom and dad. Like I'm on my laptop, Matt's on his, and this is like the get work, I was gonna say shit done. It's get shit done right now. Um, I usually will try to make a to-do list in the morning and I never really make it through. Um, you know, if we have like help with Sage, you know, I can definitely get more done, but here it's just, daddy -o and I and we're just doing what we can it's definitely harder to do work when you don't have child care but you just make it work you do it when they're napping and you make a realistic to-do list don't stress yourself out just raising and keeping a child alive is a lot so um yeah I'm just reviewing a I'm actually reviewing my one year breastfeeding update and teething vlog I answered a ton of questions for you guys so I'm just reviewing that um that's going up this week and there's gonna be a blog post and stuff with it as well. You guys have been asking me so so many questions about breastfeeding and stuff, so my arm's getting tired. You guys have been asking me so many questions, so I just want to like compile it all into a video. But yeah, that is what we're doing right now. I think we are probably gonna go for dinner or something tonight for Sage's birthday. And we do wanna do Disney World, but we're just trying to figure out which day we were looking at prices and stuff. There's a lot of options and we're just trying to figure out like the best option just because we might have family or friends visiting us that may want to go again so yeah we're just trying to pick the best route and that's the update it's kind of turning into a day in the life vlog but i'm gonna probably not vlog too much more today and i'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs> Try blending this up. Let's see how this turns out. <laughs> okay. Looks pretty good and smooth. Not bad, Black & Decker. See, you can still make a delicious smoothie in an affordable blender. Although I love my Vitamix, I'm sure this one is like a fraction of the price and it still got pretty creamy i think you just have to get like the right ratio of liquid frozen and like greens and stuff but it's it's actually really good so much better than the blender we had at the last airbnb it was like you could still feel like all the texture so this one's not bad mm. got strawberry avocado blueberry pancakes yay No. 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 Yeah, let's go.
Seiji is having a little, kind of like a taco bowl style. Oh, this is like stuck. We got some avocado, some ground chicken with veggies. I got zucchini, onion, garlic, and mushroom. And then some leftover rice from last night. It's a lot of food. You're gonna make a big mess. Is it hot? Mm -hmm. uh. Is hot? Uh. Hot? Mm. Uh. Daddy will blow it. Okay. And then for us, I'm actually cooking up some cauliflower gnocchi. So good, but you don't follow the instructions on the package, just saute it. I added a little bit of avocado oil and then I'm gonna take some of this mixture and add it in with some leftover Rayo's sauce. So just a quick lunch. Um, but I wanted to make this mixture here because I can add it to Sage's pasta or something later in the week. I just didn't add any salt to it, just some black pepper and garlic. Guess where we're going? Where are we going? Hi. Hi. Target. Target. I have a couple things I have to get for a shoot tomorrow and we're gonna try to get it before Sage gets hungry for dinner. We were gonna go out for dinner tonight, but there was no reservation. So we're going tomorrow night. All right, we're going in. Mask it. Hi, Sage. Best invention ever. now in the cart. Um, I got two more flavors of these. So good. And here's what we're having for dinner. The taco shell is kind of cracked so I'm just doing it like tostada style. Uh, I got the taco black bean mixture. I made some fresh guac and I just used some of this organic Greek yogurt as like a sour cream replacement. And then for the greens I just literally shred or chopped up some mixed greens as my lettuce. Usually I do romaine, but that's what we had. So that is what we were having. I'm so hungry, so I'm very excited for this. And we're watching Home with uh, Sheldon and I don't, I forget his real name, but from, uh, what's it called? Is that show? Oh, The Big Bang Theory and Rihanna and I think JLo are in this. Anyways, I'm gonna take a bite. Oh no. These are just like blue corn taco shells. Mmm. And that is what I'm drinking. Cheer oh, it's Tuesday, Taco Tuesday. Bon Appetit. I almost forgot we have Cholula sauce. Now it's perfect. Mmm, wow. Good morning, happy Wednesday. We just finished feeding Sage breakfast. We're just about to head out for our morning walk. We're trying to get into the routine of just going for a walk before Sage's first nap. And then I actually have two campaigns to shoot today. Yeah, we're gonna try to get that done today. And then just see what the, how the day goes. I don't know what the weather's gonna be like today. I mean, I feel like it's sunny every day in Florida, which is so nice. So anyways, um, yeah, good morning. <laughs> Clip. We're so happy we brought the large stroller. The travel one is great for like grocery stores, malls and stuff, but this one's good for like longer walks. Even when we go to Disney World, we'll definitely be bringing this one. I think it's 26 degrees. 26? So hot. Ooh, it's hot, okay. Kick, 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 kick. Go. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> so good. All right, we are shooting our first campaign today. I got my test subjects. So usually if it's just Matt and I shooting, I'll get him to stay in place where I'm gonna be so I can just check the settings on the camera. And then a lot of times Matt is my photographer and uh, Sage just woke up from her nap. So she's a little cranky. She wants mom. She's like, I want milky or boob juice. That's what we call it, secret code word. Superman! <laughs>
All right, I think we got it done. We got some shots on the phone. I got a time lapse. This is the first one we tried doing. Sage attacked it, and then I think that was the final one. So I got a nice little workout in, and we got our photos. Where are the photos? Yeah, we got some cute photos, and then I did my stories. Sage was crazy the entire time, but we got it done. We're gonna feed her lunch. And I actually want to do a little bit more, uh, a few more stretches since it's really nice to get back into routine in our new location. And I'm just trying to like, Matt's been going to the gym already. There's a local gym here. I haven't been to it yet. Um, but I really like, I don't know if I mentioned, but the, um, what we just shot was with Fitbit. And what I really like is just doing at home workouts that I can squeeze in, in like 15 or 30 minutes. I don't have to leave the house. I can do it while Sage is napping. It's just way more convenient as a mom. And I just, yeah, I don't know. I used to hate at home workouts and now it's like either that or nothing sometimes. So I, I love, I love the at home workouts. They are underrated. army person carrying their knife through the mud. Okay, update. So Cashew ended up running through what we think was poison ivy or, or uh, poison oak. So poor thing has like hives all over her. Right away I was like, oh my God, bring her to the emergency. Like the vet emerged. Uh, but Matt was sensible and was like, let's figure this out. Because if you are a pet owner, you know, like as soon as you bring them to like as soon as you overreact, it ends up being the most expensive bill because like, I feel like vets are just like the first ones to be like, yeah, we'll do all the checks. We'll do this and this because they, they prey on your, like your heartstrings as a pet owner. And yes, of course we want cash to be okay, but we ended up just like calling, we have actually an amazing holistic vet who's awesome, but we ended up calling them and they told us to give uh, cashew just a, like a regular tablet of Benadryl unflavored they said 25 milligrams but that's for like cashew size so like by no means take that as like advice for your dog depending on how big they are but anyway so she like she literally had I'll insert a photo you okay she had hives all over her face all over her body so it's really worried for her and uh yeah so we based on like where she ran through it was through the forest we didn't know if she like ate something because she was chewing on a bush um, but the forest that she ran through, there is poison ivy there. It's just like, she's never encountered it before, but that's what we think it was. So anyways, my sister and her boyfriend had to like wash Cashew down, give her the Benadryl. The hives are still there, but I think she's feeling better. They're just watching her. And um, if they need to take her to an emergency vet or anything, if it gets worse, they will. But she seems to be in good health right now. So I think it's just gonna take time for the swelling to go down. But poor thing, it's hard seeing that when you're not there. And they're going to be here in a couple weeks and they're bringing cashew. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, but it's just hard to see her going through that. And you're like not there and you want to be there to help. But my sister and her boyfriend were like amazing. And yeah, they, they handled it really well. Like the last time we had to do something like that was when cashew got sprayed by a skunk. And that sucked. That was way worse. But this was just like I was scared that something up something was up you don't know when you see like your dogs have an allergic reaction and cashew has never had that so anyways 99 percent sure it was poison ivy which is not fun so hopefully the swelling and like itching goes down but anyway so we had to deal with that and sage is just on like a rampage right now with teething so she's been like full on and luckily i had like a productive morning so i just ended up ordering in dinner because i don't feel like cooking and i found this really yummy middle middle eastern restaurant and we got like lamb koftas hummus tabbouleh what else i get um chicken shawarma on rice and salad like it looks so good it reminds me of a restaurant in toronto called tabbouleh so and it had a really good rating so we'll see what that looks like when it gets here i just ordered a bunch of stuff so if we have leftovers it'll come tomorrow hopefully the dishwasher isn't loud 
in the background. I'm sure Chloe's gonna be like, it's loud. I'll show you what the food looks like when it gets here. And that is our update today. So we did not go to the restaurant. We're like, we're not taking Sage. Like she's not. <laughs> and then just tired from like going back and forth, being on the phone, like the last couple of hours on and off with my sister and the vet and just, yeah. It's been a day, but, and it also was rainy all day today here, which is odd. Usually it like rains and then the sun comes out, but it was like rainy and cloudy all day. So we were just meant to stay home and not go out. <laughs> um, I'll show you guys when the food gets here and uh, hopefully Sage is uh, fast asleep by then. All right, here is our food. I think some of it got knocked around a bit, but it looks really good. This one here is just some hummuses, tabbouleh. These are grape leaves falafels and i think this one is i don't think it's a kofta but something like that i think it has pine nuts in it and i got chicken shawarma and then i got some lamb koftas and i think this is lebne i think that's how you say it. it's like a yogurt uh maybe it's a cheese it's like a yogurty cheese and then we got some pitas and i'm very excited i might warm it up because it's a little cold but it's going to be delicious i'm sure hey, good morning so you're just having mm. some eggs and peas today. Mm. So good. Peas are probably her favorite food. <laughs> mm. Mm. And then we have some avocado here on the side. I am making a smoothie, putting blueberries in it today. And then there's some frozen, uh, I just froze some leftover cucumber. So it's just a great way if you have scraps, just freeze them and then throw them in a smoothie. This is what, and this is what Matt and I are having for breakfast. Anytime you add blueberries to your smoothie, it kind of turns the color a weird gray. It's yummy. How's it going, Sage? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Want some more strawberries? Yeah. I hope you stay a good eater forever. All right, I'm just here with this girl. Matt just ran to Target to grab a couple of things that I totally forgot to get for the video I'm filming. We're doing a cute little baking, fall baking reel. This is actually for a campaign I'm doing with Sobeys. I hope, hopefully I don't have food in my teeth. I just had lunch and I was eating some of the tabbouleh from last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got some of the baking items laid out in front of me. Donut pan, we're making apple spice donuts, baby friendly with a really yummy coconut butter glaze. And the recipe is on my blog, but I'm adjusting it a little bit to be baby friendly and not have like added sugar and stuff. And usually coconut butter isn't hard to find, but for some reason today it was. <laughs> um, but I was able to get it ordered in. So I got some, it's also called coconut mana. Anyways, this stuff is great. Such a good like icing replacement. You can put it on pancakes. So we're gonna use it for our apple donuts. And I got a restock of my favorite tea. I got flaxseed, peanut butter, some mayonnaise because I want to make some aioli. This maybe tonight for dinner with some artichokes I have in the fridge. I got a body wash for Matt. And uh, yeah, so I actually like brought ingredients with me from Canada. So I got the Sobeys uh, maple syrup, apple cider vinegar, baking soda, baking powder, some Bob's Red Mill stuff. You okay? Okay. You want more? I always make extra. Yeah, yeah okay. I know, okay, I'll give you some more. Um, and yes, I'm wearing the same outfit I wore earlier this week because I thought it was cute and I wanted to wear it for the video, but then I'm probably going to change back into something else. So that honestly is just the behind the scenes of filming videos is <laughs> like, sometimes you just wear something for the video and then you change back into like whatever you want, wanted to wear that day. Like it's pretty hot today, so I'm not going to wear jeans, but okay, I got to get our food. <laughs> okay, coming up, coming up. All right, we wrapped up shooting. I didn't even get behind the scenes because it was a mission to try to film this and cook or like bake with Sage. I'm telling you, she's she's a toddler. Like I now know why people are like doing anything with the toddler is insane because they are just like grabbing everything, screaming. Like it was like mini tantrums throughout the whole thing. But I do think she enjoyed it. She enjoyed the mixing part and she got to put some ingredients in and I want to get her like used to like being in the kitchen and helping me cook, but it was <laughs> pretty interesting. But we got the shots. Uh, we shot everything on my phone. Matt did it. 
I got a couple myself, but I think it turned out. So hopefully once it's the magic of editing is gonna make it look like it was this like cute little baking with my one-year-old scene. Although real in reality, it's like a mess right now. Matt's just taking a breather outside. He just put her to bed. And we do have these delicious, yummy apple spiced donuts. It turned out so good. So I tweaked it from the recipe that's on my blog, but to make it baby friendly and they're really good. I might tweak it a little bit more. I think I just added too much apple cider vinegar because I was eyeballing it and I think you can like taste a little bit of it. But yeah, they are great. I'm gonna write down that recipe and it's ready to be edited and hopefully it'll be on my Instagram soon. Sorry, the window's open, so it's kind of, it's noisy. I'm craving a little spin drift. Oh, I'm gonna do it all that people do because I have long nails now. Oh, that's good. All right, let's clean up. Hi, crazy monkey. Oh, oh, okay. She's in a. She's in a mood. Oh. 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 Say hi, mama. Say hi. Mama. 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 You vlogging? Okay. All right. So I just finished making dinner, and I decided to make. It's like a TikTok inspired recipe. I don't even think I've watched the original TikTok video. To be honest, like I'm not on TikTok that much. Like I post TikTok videos. Follow me here if you're not already. Super cute videos on there if you have not checked them out. Um, but this was like a, I think it's called like a salmon rice sushi bowl with like seaweed wrap thing. It went like viral. I had some salmon, I'll show a close up. I got salmon, rice, avocado. I made a little mayonnaise sriracha sauce. Um, I used a um, mayonnaise made with avocado oil and then I just put sriracha and then I have some tamari. Uh, don't know if there's I'm gonna just put it in the middle like a little glob in the middle and then a little drizzle of tamari on the rice and salmon and then you get your seaweed okay seaweed and then we're gonna wrap it so I'll show a close-up of it and then we'll do a taste test this is what they look like so we got salmon rice avocado the mayo sauce that I made and some tamari on top. You mix it up. This reminds me of like a spicy salmon, spicy salmon roll. Matt gets this all the time, but usually it's with raw salmon. Okay, Matt's gonna do the taste test with me. I also cooked some extra salmon for sage. So I'll just let that cool. I always try to make anything I'm making, if I can make it baby friendly, I just didn't add salt. I just did black pepper and a squeeze of, I would have done lemon, but I had the lime, but a little citrus on there, cooked it. And then I have lunch for her tomorrow to add to something. So I'm just gonna, here, I'll mix yours up, Matt. And then you're just gonna like pick it up. You can even grab a little avocado if you want. A little avocado. Okay. Mm. It's good. It's like a. Mm. Yeah. No, it's pretty good. Pretty good. It's like a salmon roll. Yeah. Would you eat I this again? So. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. It's pretty good. This might be my new favorite thing. Mmm. I need more tamari. Looks like I need more. Sriracha? I was thinking that too. Cups. 
We are just about to have breakfast. Sage is very hangry. Anyways, Matt had the genius idea of making oatmeal in the rice cooker. So I think it's done. I'm gonna get it right now. Sage has already had some snacks. Like, she hasn't been waiting. But she wants her oatmeal. Here you go. You woke up on the wrong side of the crib this morning. Say thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. I think you're going through a growth spurt. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good job. Good job. Oh, you're done already. Look at this final product. The apples are actually just soft enough for Sage to eat. And I already had a bite. It's really good. I actually ended up adding some mashed banana to this, but Matt and I are going to have some too. You can drizzle some nut butter on it, some more cinnamon. These are perfectly cooked. Does Sage approve? Is it good? Not that. It's so good. <laughs> mm, you're just hangry. This girl ate already a banana and a half and mm -hmm. a couple strawberries. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you can have your oatmeal. Mm -hmm. Mama, have a kiss. Mama, have a kiss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <gasps> BRB, you're gonna cry. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, you do it. We have time for, yeah, more. Mmm, it's so good. So I'm actually in our bedroom right now. I just did a little bit of work. Sage is napping and I just want to, I've been actually meditating every single morning since we've been here and it's just been a really nice practice for me. I try to do it most days anyways, um, but it just has made the biggest difference for my mental health and like it may seem like I... I feel fine. I felt fine the whole time I'm here and I have been feeling pretty good. I love traveling yet it doesn't always come easy for me and I think that's for a lot of people to be honest and I just want to share that side of things too. Last night I was feeling a little anxious. I was having trouble going to bed. Finally went to bed but you still feel like worked up from the adrenaline and stuff and so I feel a little bit more drained this morning and it's just a reminder even when things get busy and you think you don't have time you need to put your mental health and your self-care first because if you don't feel good, you're not going to be good for anybody else or for yourself or be able to get your busy list done. You know what I mean? So, and I shared on my stories the other day about things that I do to feel good and meditation is definitely number one. Um, this is something that helped me so much last night when I was feeling a little uneasy. My acupressure mat, um, I love this guy. I actually have a discount code. It's funny, I had this for like a year before I truly fell in love with it. I used it here and there, and now it comes with me everywhere. It helps so much. It totally like helps zen me out and relax me, and whether if I'm having trouble sleeping, it makes me sleepy. It almost distracts because it's not painful, but it, it definitely has a sensation to it, and it almost distracts from like the monkey brain, and it just totally calms me out. I don't know. I love it. I'm sure there's a science to it like acupuncture is amazing too and I feel like they're similar things and then of course I have my essential oils uh, last night I was sniffing and rubbing lavender on me and then today I've just been using this peace and calming blend I just love these super calming and grounding and they just help kind of relax me if I'm feeling a little anxious or jittery and um, yeah anyways I'm just gonna do my meditation but I want to pop in here and just give you guys an update on how I'm doing I actually really enjoy meditation I used to dread it and it's like working out I think you sometimes dread it but you enjoy how you feel after it that's what meditation is like for me so I'm really excited I'm gonna get into a nice juicy meditation and just like totally zen out and then get a little bit more work done. I have to film another campaign. It's a busy week. And then I think we're gonna try to just head out for a little bit and maybe go to the mall or just like walk around somewhere outside of like our neighborhood just to check out the scene, the Florida scene. I don't know. It's hard to get out of the house with the baby because like their nap schedules like every three hours. And yeah, you're kind of like homebound, but it's okay. We're homebound in a tropical paradise, so it's fine. <laughs> Going to the mall. 
baby friendly activities. <laughs> it's really hot today actually. But I got a toy, a rogue banana. Sage has her cool Florida shoes on. Ooh. For Tia Chloe got her those. We're leaving the house. We're living that minivan life. bathing suit on and sandals that she doesn't want to keep on. We're going to go swimming. Got a little lazy river there. It's hot out. So we're going to go for a dip. First dip in Florida. It's on alligator today. And we're going to go for a swim. Hi, pretty girl. Parenting 101. You have some uh, sunscreen. We are back home. Sage is just watching Madagascar. She's eating some freeze dried strawberries in her little, this is one of those like no spill cups. Okay. It's so cute because she can just have her own snacks and she loves them. These are a great like accidental baby food, I guess you call it. Super delicious. You got them in there. Also, she now knows how to climb the couch, so fun times. All right, for Sage's dinner, she's got avocado, wild salmon, and rice, basically leftovers from our dinner last night. And then I threw in one of my apple spice donuts. Matt says it's too much food, but you know what? She eats a lot. All right, then for our dinner, I cooked up some zucchini, mushroom, garlic, and grass-fed beef. I'm gonna add some of this marinara sauce. We have half a jar left. I'll probably add a little water and shake the rest out. And then for the pasta, I'm gonna do some cauliflower and gnocchi. And maybe some greens on the side, I'm not sure, but just a really easy week night or Friday night dinner. This is gonna make a nice sauce for the uh, gnocchi. Done. I've also just been trying to add more greens into our dishes, so I'm gonna just throw in some chopped kale. We're just gonna sprinkle that in. Okay, and we're just gonna mix that in. All right, there you have it. Gnocchi with a vegetable meat sauce. Mm. All right, I gotta crouch down a bit. This girl did not wanna go for her afternoon nap. I just made myself a little healthy cereal. It's like puffed camu, um, some nuts and seeds, blueberries, oat milk. But I want to say thank you so much for watching this week's vlog. It's actually now a couple weeks later. Uh, my sister and her boyfriend Javon are here, Cashew's here, and you'll see in future vlogs, but Okay. We are just having a lazy Sunday. It's cloudy out, but Matt and I, yeah. Matt and I are going for our first date night tonight, which we're very excited about now that we have babysitters. Although they're just like watching the monitor when she's sleeping, right? Mwah. And if you guys want to see more week in my life slash what we eat videos, be sure to give this. You want to? Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe. I post here every single week and I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Okay, I'm gonna eat my cereal, cuddle this little girl and get ready for our date night. I'm so excited. Okay. Oh, I think he's still tired. Okay, bye guys.